I want to present you a powerful new feature of UA MIDI Control, which now allows you to use MIDI banks or pages with your device, uh, which will um, really bring value from small devices you, you have, which previously couldn't fit all your console needs. So here I have a preset where my first eight channels are mapped to the controller, including solo mute record. And the, um, the knob is controlling the gains. Okay, I'll try not to change the gain of the microphone where I'm talking like I did last time. And uh, on another bank, I have the knob set as pants. So now I'm controlling the pants. And basically now you can load any bank and basically these banks are just presets. So you're loading presets. So let's see how this works. You'd have to go to the extra channel in the preset section. And here you can basically map your presets. I have my default gains and pants mapped and they will load and this basically means you can map totally different things if you want you can map effects or another fader bank or whatever you 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 think on your on your device and load it up anytime as a page or a bank and before i go I'll just want to I just want to show you how to set up your nano control because some people have been having issues with it. So first of all, you need to check that the output port is set for the device. Then you need to get the cork nan cork control editor and first make sure the led mode is set to external so that you get the feedback. And then what I did is, uh, on all the buttons, I changed them to moment momentary. I think by default they're on toggle, which will work with the app, but then you have to set them up manually as toggle in the app. So it's your choice. Either you set them as toggle in the app, or you set them as momentary in, in the core control and send it to your device. Uh, so depends what you think is is f easier for you, but both will work.